Hey guys, I'm at Snyder AC Plumbing and Electrics Campus on the south side, and I'm joined with lead plumber, Chris Tomberlin. Chris, thank you so much for having me here today. This is really, really cool. So first things first, man, like why do we want to keep our drains clean? Why do we not want blockage? Well, first off, you want to make sure that you don't have any sewage in your lines. You want to make sure it all gets flushed. Yep. You want to make sure it stays clean, sanitary. You don't want all them fumes coming back in your house, and you don't want to have future blockages. Gotcha. Okay, so why why do I not want to use over-the-counter drain cleaners? Is there a problem with that? Well, they're just harmful to the environment. They're harmful to the piping, and they may not even get the job done. Interesting. They'll cause more harm than good. All right, so what causes blockages? Well, you know, homeowner abuse, old pipes, you know, past blockages that haven't gotten cleared, mm -hmm. things of that nature. All right, so what do I do if I have a blockage? You need to call me. <laughs> That's exactly right. Make sure you call our guys here. He's the lead plumber after all. So what are some preventative measures that we can take to avoid these blockages that you're talking about? Well, we have a chemical called Bio One that we can use that'll mm -hmm. keep things flowing. It's, you know, it's green, it's, it's not harmful to, to the environment, it's not gonna mess up your pipes, and in the future, it'll keep things flowing. Okay, so you guys do camera inspections, which I've just learned about, and that's fantastic, right? So why do you guys even do that? Well, we can maintain and know exactly what the problem is. We can't just guess no more. We can actually see it, homeowner can see it, and they can see exactly what we're doing, That's cool. what caused the problem. That's really cool. So you can send that little thing in there and you can, we can find out what's going all. on in there. That's really Absolutely. neat. Absolutely. That's cool, all right, well, I really appreciate it. I think there's only one thing left to do, man. Let's get our hands dirty, right? Let's do it. All right, let's rock. What we're looking at here is a, a traditional bathroom group, mm -hmm. the shower, toilet, lavatory. Okay. And you know, one of our main calls that we get is there's obstruction and the toilet won't flush. Mm -hmm. So what we're about to do is we're about to actually take this camera with our new technology okay. and we're going to come down here and we're going to find out exactly why it's not flushing. Gotcha. So somebody made it. So we just put this dude right in here, right? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. So you kind of have to like give it a little love. Get it down that turn. There. Yes, sir. So we just keep feeding it in there? Yes, sir. All right. I feel like you kind of get to another little stucky point. And we get we get to an obstruction. There's a clog somewhere in there, and we're getting it out. Somebody probably flushed like toilet paper, not toilet paper, but like paper towels or something, like some no-no stuff. Don't do that. Chris, all right, Chris, so that's paper towels. Yes, sir. Not toilet paper, because toilet paper's okay. Right. Because it's a toilet. That's right. <laughs> you shouldn't be putting paper towels down there. No paper towels, okay. no hygiene products. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at right now. Somebody has put a paper towel down here and it's clogged it up and so now we sent this down here so that we, we can see exactly what the problem is and now we found it. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to come through here and we're going to see the integrity of this pipe. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of times you could see something that's going to be a future problem. Right. You know, yeah, you were telling me at, at some point there's like one place you went where the whole top of this thing had like ero or corroded off and like it's just a absolutely like it's just a flowing river under your yard. Absolutely. Which is kind of weird. Absolutely. All right, and so what's going on with this one? Like I can, I can just, I don't know much about this, but I can already tell that we've got a bit of an issue. There's a crack here, there's a crack there. So what are we looking at here? Now you're looking at something that has been basically corroded from the inside out. Okay. And so now it's starting to collapse. And so would I, would I feed this through there to find out what's going on with that as well? Absolutely, or All you right. can come from the top. Or you can come from the top, okay. This would be like going down in the top of a toilet. Okay, gotcha. We'll get it in there. What, like, using bad chemicals and stuff will hurt these things? So like, absolutely. you, you kind of led to uh, into that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. As it's on the horizontal, all that stuff that you get from the Home Depot and over the counter, yeah. it's going to be going inside and it'll sit. It'll sit on the bottom. And over time, it's going to eat away that pipe. And it's really? going to make it brittle. It's going right, to cause you it, more issues. Right, because if it's the kind of chemical that can break down all the stuff that's in that pipe, if it's just sitting, it's going to eventually do the same thing to the pipe, right? Absolutely. Mm. That's why you want to use this stuff right here. Okay. You know, it's it's harmless to us. It's, you know, it's a biochemical. And what it does is it multiplies and it kills any other fogs, fat oil or, or greases. Chris! Thank you so much. Man, I learned a lot today. This was really cool. Hey, guys, 
if you, if you run into situations like this where you need repairs, you gotta call our friends at Snyder. But the real trick is preventative maintenance. Make sure you take care of all your stuff, right? Because you don't wanna have to replace them. It can be a very, very costly fix. Once again, my man, thank, thank you. you so much. Absolutely. We'll see you next time, guys.